At first glance, it may look and sound like just a standard piece of comedic theatre. But actors in this Broadway play say the way these characters relate to each other is meant to reveal white privilege and how it's displayed in America. It's called Straight White Men, and it's a story of a family who are at odds with the behavior of one of their own. One of them is no longer acting like the straight white man they think he should be. Just like watching white men grapple with their own privilege is like really compelling. It's a really cool play. It's, it's not what it appears to be about. The story takes place when the family gathers for a holiday, eating Chinese takeaway and a trash talking with one another. But when a question is raised that they can't answer, they're forced to confront their own identities. This was an amazing chance to really look at the concept of white privilege and what it means and how people in this situation communicate with each other and understand each other. Along with the play's social significance, it's also made history as the first by an Asian American woman to open a play on Broadway. Playwright Young Jean Lee says she was inspired by the idea of white men feeling marginalized because they were being labeled. There was this sort of historical shift happening in my lifetime where all of a sudden straight white men were suddenly experiencing what it's like to get labeled. You know, like whereas before they just got to be a human being, now all of a sudden people are saying you're a straight white man and therefore that means you're this, this and this negative thing. And I noticed they, you know, like everyone, they were reacting negatively to it because you know, everyone hates that. Actors in the play say they hope the discussion on white privilege continues long after the play has ended, while playwright Lee says she wants the audience to draw its own conclusions. Regan Devines, TRT World.